<laughs> there's a Kelpie behind me that's going to go absolutely bananas when he gets into the dog park. Yeah, dropped my bike in to get new tyres and um, they said, how's your, how's your braking been? I said, not so good. Yeah, so I'm getting some new brake pads. But I thought, well, let's have a chat. Let's have a chat about, look at this magnificent doggy. Let's have a chat about the trial so far. Chad Daybell. And what a... What a couple of days, eh? So... What do, what do I think? I mean, I think... Chad is seriously drenched. <laughs> and... I don't really have much more to add about that at the moment um, other than of course you know prior is such a sleaze you know hey why shouldn't a sleaze defend a sleaze so the interesting thing for me is Melanie Fibb so Look, I know we all can probably think that Melanie Gibb is being just so upstanding, being just so put together, is just coming out and being open, honest, a star witness. But what a fucking hypocrite, okay? Because she's she was introduced to Laurie too when they met, you know, very auspicious meeting, wasn't it? And they were tight, you know, best friends, Laurie's best friend, you know, someone she's known for two years. And they were tight, Melanie and Laurie, and they spent years, these couple of years together, very, very close contact, constant contact. If they were in the same town, it would be daily in the flesh. They partied together. <laughs> they home taught. They gathered. They plotted. They had their affairs together. Melanie likes to throw around the judgment on Laurie as she did in that phone call about Laurie not being divorced before she got with her new partner. Oh, and you know, for two years she's saying this didn't sit well with her. Wow, she didn't really have, you know, didn't she have these same, these ethics? She wasn't questioning them this whole time. Oh, now it's a gut feeling. Her gut was telling it was wrong. What, she didn't have the strength to just say, hey, no, I'm not hanging out with you guys because you're having an affair and, you know, you should get divorced first like I did you know uh, before I hooked up with David Warwick if that can be believed sure she's divorced but she's taken up she's had the same split with a partner and get with a new one that everyone in this group has and she, sh she can't be righteous because she hung around for two years knowing what was going on it was all right with her every damn day of her life that they were friends every week with all those events that they went to with everything that went on it was okay everything was okay with melanie to say now that that was her gut oh so you knew then did you melanie but you just did fuck all you were still in their pockets every day you were still part of their group every day. You didn't vote. You didn't vote by leaving, why not? What was in it for you? What is not, what is the part of the story that you're not telling us, Melanie Fibb? What is it? What were you together with that group for then? And what was worth putting aside all of these values that you were spouse? What's worth putting aside all, all of these values? Why were you turning your back on your values, turning a blind eye, but now suddenly 
you're so righteous. You know, whatever way you try to frame it, Melanie. Okay, that's great that you did that phone call. And I know you were scared. And you were scared for a long time, weren't you? Because you knew you were on the hit list and you still are. But what made you so able to not act on your values then for two years? Huh? Are they really that important? Is this really around about values? We could hear the fakery. We can hear the fakery in Laurie's and Chad's and yours voices. That friendship was completely fake. As I've said in the past, you guys were always frenemies. Always frenemies. But what was so desperate about you that you had to hang on to that frenemieship with Chad and Laurie? What was it? Was it because of Chad? And you admired Chad? Was it because you had to be connected to what they were connected to? Because you didn't want to let it go? What was it, Melanie? Okay, so you might be star witness, but you're going to get discredited too. And you should not get immunity. Laurie said herself, there are things that you know. There are things that you know, Melanie. We know it. And it's going to come out. And you need to pay the price too because innocent children, Tylee and JJ, even if for anything else, what happened to Charles, which you were there for, Melanie Fib, you were there helping steal that truck, no doubt. You were there through it all. Where were your fucking values? And Tylee and JJ, have gone into their long good night, the long good night that you saw them take. You even probably whispered it to them. So you can shove your values, Melanie Gibb, because it's way too late. You do what's right, but you also should be paying your dues. Okay?